What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we gotta talk about a mantra rework that I was surprised about myself. So, in a single update, this mantra has risen from the depths, becoming one of my favorite abilities to use on certain builds when I never picked it before. Let's take a look at Shadow Chains and why you should give it a second chance. The main reason why this mantra is staying useful in current PvP combat is because it's so easy to land. The targeting of these chains has been updated to be godly as it follows targets through their roles and snipes them as soon as they finish the animation, so Shadow Chains and its lasting hitbox are great to catch people mid-roll, and it's a huge improvement from the stationary placement of the Shadow Chains before last week. Its range is also pretty long too, and can be improved with the use of Perfect Lens. Seriously, if you're spamming this, they either get caught during a regular roll, tank the hit, or block the chains and take on some posture. It's a valid option to mix up parry trades, and it's possible to throw out these while stacking on other animations. Moving on, what actually happens when you hit Shadow Chains. So first off, the damage on Shadow Chains is pretty sizable considering if you land all three chains. I think the Aether Drain and damage dealt is scaling based on how many you hit, so you want to try to hit all three. Of course, depending on your build, you can darken player screens and steal a lot of Aether, but if you want to maximize the Aether Drain, I recommend slapping on a set of three Vibrant Gems because that hops it up like quite a bit. If you enjoy Lockdown, there is a talent called Blighted Song that prevents you and the the user from using any mantras while shadow chains are active, but I skip this normally because I want to use my moveset. According to this image, I'm the strongest mantra spammer in history, and I'll keep that title the best I can, so yeah, I want my mantras. Anyway, on hit, shadow chains applies all of these damaging effects, but most importantly, it slows down our target and stuns them. Keeping players in place is very important to synergize with our other pressure tools, and targets with less speed and dodge distance are easy to poke from at range. Essentially, you can walk out of parry trades and snipe them from the edge of your hitbox because they're too slow to walk forward and yeah, that's it. They can barely move and it's a huge downside if you start stacking on multiple sets of shadow chains. The best way to keep this mantra active is with eternal log stones to maximize the uptime or duration of the chains, keeping them on for about 15 to 16 seconds. The cooldown of this ability isn't that long either, but with this mantra being so easy to land, why not use a blessed gem? It's just so good. Some may say it's a little bit skillless or brain dead, but uh, I don't know. Regardless, this rework has brought this mantra up and it's finally worth using, so I'm a big fan about how some of these underused mantras are being repurposed and improved because there are so many abilities that players just forget about. Shadow Chains is absolutely worth picking if you have the tools to set up pressure during that stun time, and I recommend it if you want to troll enemies with a viable mantra. For real though, being a one-star Shadowcast mantra, it's definitely worth trying out. Of course, make sure to experiment for yourself and comment down below what other mantras need reworks like this to become usable in the current day meta. As always, make sure to like and subscribe so we can hit 70k subs. Thanks again, it's punching time.